In this video, we will review how to run an explicit simulation in OpenRADIUS. OpenRADIUS is an open source explicit finite element solver. It does not include any preprocessor or postprocessor. Thus, we will utilize HyperMesh to preprocess our model for OpenRADIUS. Through using HyperMesh, I can easily set up models and adjust mesh quality or characteristics through its advanced preprocessing. I can efficiently apply boundary conditions in HyperMesh. In this case, I will apply a velocity condition on one end and fix the other end. I will also apply a failure material model to incorporate fracture of my coupon as I stretch it in the one direction. After the model is set up, I can export the solver deck I will utilize in OpenRADIUS. Note, OpenRADIUS supports both RADIUS and LSDINA formats. I will save this file in RADIUS format. We can now run OpenRADIUS. We will first navigate to the website. The link is in the description of this video below. On the website, we can find a number of resources ranging from user manuals, forums, and in particular, example models. There are a number of example models in both RADIUS and DINA format on the website for users to download. After looking at the example models, we can now download OpenRADIUS. We click on the download link from the drop-down box to download OpenRADIUS. Currently, downloads can be done in either Linux or Windows format. Additionally, since OpenRADIUS is open source, a number of GUI scripts have been developed to make it easier to run scenarios without having to use a command prompt. In this case, the GUI script has been developed to allow for easy job submission, as we will see later in this video when we run our file. As the files are downloading, I will create a folder where I will extract the open radios and GUI zip files. It's important to put these files on a local hard drive as opposed to a network hard drive. I'll create a file called open radios and I'll extract the Win64 zip file first. After extracting the Win64 files, I will then place the GUI scripts into that folder. Then I will unzip the GUI zip files. If I unzip the GUI files outside of the open radios folder, the GUI scripts will not function properly. With our files now unzipped, we can run our scenario. I'll create a simulation folder where I will put all my solver decks in, and then I'll copy over the radio solver deck I created earlier. I then click on the Python GUI to run my script. The GUI allows me to specify jobs, processors, threads, and other advanced options to run. As the job runs, users can check for warnings, as well as saving out into additional formats like H3D or animation files. Now that my simulation solver is finished, I can open up the output deck in a text editor to check results. However, if I need to open a file in a post processor, I will need to do that with another tool. Radios and LS Dynadex can be opened in Hyperview. And I will open up my scenario in Hyperview. I can see the coupon stretching and breaking as I expect it to. To learn more about Open Radios or other Altair products, go to www.trueinsight.io.